This is a video that discusses how to standardize your FortiGate with FortiManager using provisioning templates. Provisioning templates are really just configuration templates. The reason they're called provisioning templates, because years ago, originally they were used for kind of zero touch or initial provisioning. But what provisioning templates are, if we come over here to our FortiManager and go to provisioning templates, they are basically configurations that get applied every time you do an install. So every time you install a policy package or your device uh, settings, they get reasserted to your FortiGate. As an example, um, let's say on our FortiGate, we come in here and we do a uh, config system global show um, and our time zone set to Mexico City, right? That's incorrect. What we want to do is is create a system template that sets our time zone and then also sets our admin timeout and our administrative ports. Why is that important? Well, let's say, for example, we have a local in policy here that's protecting our FortiGate. And that local in policy is protecting port 443, uh, port 80, and port 22 with our local in policy. If someone was to come in here and adjust our administrative ports, guess what? Your local in policy is no longer going to match and it's no longer going to protect your firewall. So we want some sort of configuration um, that reasserts that those, those administrative settings. Well, that's what provisioning templates are for. Well, let's go, uh, let's go mess around with those. If we go to Forta Manager, provisioning templates, like we said we wanted to use um, time zone, right? We want to do time zone. So let's make a meta variable for time zone. We're going to actually mess around with some variables in this video. So now we have a time zone variable. So let's go to our devices and um, hub one. Let's right click and go down to variable mapping. And what are the actual time zones? Set time zone question mark. Let's go to the end. Let's say this device is in New York City. So that is US Eastern. So I'm going to copy that down. I'm going to go back to um, Afford a Manager, right? And I'm going to set my time zone to US Eastern and hit OK. All right. So now I've got a variable underneath my hub of US Eastern. And I can make different uh, variable items for different FortiGates wherever they are. If I go to my provisioning template and system template, I can create a new template. I'm going to call this sys.global. Right, this is going to be my global template that I apply everywhere. Um, I'm going to go underneath admin settings. I want to make sure that my ports are 80, 443, and 22 that match my that match my uh, my local end policy, and I want those to stay the same. I do not want anyone to adjust my admin ports. I also want to set my idle timeout to be 15 minutes, and then my time zone to be that variable dollar sign. And I can find the time zone variable there. Um, obviously, you can set SNMP. You can do logs, send you know things to syslog messages. You can create interfaces here underneath the system template. But we're going to keep this very basic. There, that's complete. Now, another thing I want to do is some CLI configurations. Um, I'm going to create a new CLI configuration, CLI.global. And I want to make sure that my local in policies are logged. So if I do a config log settings and um, I do a show full, I want um, my log in allow and my unicast to be enabled. So if I do a show, they're already set, but let's do this. Let's copy this down. Let's do an unset local in allow and unset local in deny. Show at an end, right? So now it's default. By default, those are not enabled. Um, and I want to put that in my Forta Manager. I want my Forta Manager to turn on logging for local in traffic. That's what this is doing. So now I've got a CLI template and a system template. I'm actually going to bundle those together in a group. I'm going to say template group underscore global. I'm going to grab the system template here, and I'm going to grab the CLI template here. And then I'm going to right click and assign that to basically every device I have. Where is my hub?
All right, let me refresh my hub here. As you know, sometimes Florida Manager is a finicky little thing. Go back to my provisioning templates, right click assign to devices. There's my hub. So now that's assigned. So now if I do an install wizard, and I'm gonna do basically everything, policy packages and device settings to my hub. Hit next, next. Take a look at my provisioning template and see what it's actually going to do. Let's look at the install preview. Here we are. It's actually setting the admin timeout to 12, the time zone to US Eastern, and it's doing my CLI configurations as well. The reason it is not changing um, port 80, 443, or 22, because those are already default values. So let's go in here and click install. So what I want to show you is, let's say you have multiple system admins and somebody gets fancy and they change the administrative port. Well, when they change the administrative port, that that breaks your local in policy. So I'm going to show you how the Florida manager reasserts that value once this is complete. All right, this is completed. I can come over here to my 48. I can come up underneath system. I can go to system settings. And I'm going to change my HTTP port to be port 88, right? I think I'm cool. I think I'm smart. I'm I'm changing my administrative ports to be non-standard ports. But I don't know that there's a local and policy that was previously protecting that port. So what I've done is just open up my FortiGate to everyone. So let's go back to the Forta Manager. And let's do an install wizard, right? Theoretically, as someone that is working on the Florida manager, I've made no changes. I expect there to be no changes. I did not know that another administrator or someone changed um, changed the setting on my on my hub. I'm actually going to come in here real quickly and just tell it to resync its config. I'm doing this so fast that it, it, I don't think it understands that there's a there's a change. So I'm forcing the Florida manager now to to retrieve the configuration so everything's in sync. In real world, you typically wouldn't have to do this as synchronization would happen. So again, I'm just forcing the the Florida manager to hey go go pull a config so we we're we're back in synchronization and we, and we know what is where. Let's go to our uh, installation wizard. Let's do a full install for my hub, and let's see what it's going to configure or want to configure. Let's look at our installation preview. And you can see it is unsetting the admin port, which is basically returning it to default, which is port 80. So this itself shows how powerful um, provisioning templates are and why they should be used. They protect your, your FortiGates. They make sure they're all standardized um, and configured the same. And they also protect you from an accidental change that maybe wasn't seen in a change control board um, and puts things back to how they should be. Hope this video helps.